it's a good idea to keep in mind the following formulas for derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay, so uh, we'll get to some details later, but the derivative of an exponential function, b to the x power, is going to be b to the x power times the natural log of b. Okay, now a very special case of this is g of x, well, I'm going to call it g of x, but e to the x, where e is the base, okay, well, the derivative of that function, if I use the, the same formula, would be e to the x times the natural log of e. Well, the natural log of e is actually 1. So e to the x times 1 is just e to the x. So I don't need to put that there. Okay, so the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. It's a very special function. Okay, um, now let's look at... These are my exponentials. Let's look at some logarithmic functions. If I had the function log base b of x, well, the derivative of that function would be 1 over x times the natural log of b. Okay? And that brings up the special case. The natural log of x, remember what that means. The natural log of x just simply means log base e of x. Well, let's apply this same formula. That's 1 over x times the natural log of the base, which is e. But a second ago I just said the natural log of e, this right here, equals 1. So that's really kind of get rid of it. If it's just 1, that's just really x times 1. But even that can be simplified further. It's just 1 over x times 1, or 1 over x. Okay, so there we go. The derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So these four identities, or these four formulas, are necessary. You want to memorize these when trying to find the derivative of exponential and logarithmic functions.